The average person would kind of overlook a place like this, but this is like what we look for. Like this the is dream. the blank, this is the blank canvas, the dream cover, the, the options are endless on a piece of ground like this. But this one's getting ready to get transformed and it is going to be awesome. This kind of cover here looks like it's been a year or two since anybody's done anything and as far as the regeneration and growth goes. When you get to the back half of the farm, it looks like it's been three or four or five years. So it's like different phases of growed over pasture and, and stuff that hasn't been taken care of. And then on the other side of that ditch, it looks like the timber might even get a little bit bigger. So it's a pretty diverse looking piece. And you know, with some plots and some access and some strategy, I mean, this is gonna be a dynamite piece of ground. This real estate market is just so crazy. When stuff comes up for sale and it, and it goes through the brokerages and stuff, you know, a lot of it just, they already have so many buyers lined up that, you know, they make a few calls, send it, send it a few times and it's gone. We have a pre-market buyer list and that gives you the ability to put your email in there and we send upcoming farms and projects out. A lot of the best farms never hit the market. You'll never know about those. So many of them are all bought and sold, bought and sold, the best ones without the public ever knowing. But you need to get on that list because if you're not, you're gonna be missing out on some of the best deals, some of the best farms. There's a small pond right there in the bottom. I mean, you could come in here and do some levee work and make that yeah, pretty make big body of water right here too, if you wanted to. You could make a big lake down in there with that long of a draw like that. You could have a big 10 acre lake. Here's a big flat. Could have a big plot in here and catch these deer coming up out of the bottom and staging in this plot where they go out to the crop field here on this corner. Because it's there's quite a bit of area. This thing could split even. Yeah, I know. Like so, somebody that was gonna bow hunt too, they could do like cereal grains one way. Yeah. Cl clover one another and, and then you can do corn up to this. Oh, yeah. You do corn all the way here backward. You do one green that way, one green this way, and if no thing, you could just put a blind up on this corner, yeah, cut a little bit of corn, you'd have corn in front of you, wheat over here, turnips over here, the whole thing with the rubbing posts and stuff up here. It'd be the old wishbone food plot. Oh man. And especially look, I mean look at this this top runs basically directly east and west. So you got a west wind blowing right down your standing corn. Every time you cut it back some with a blind or a ground blind in the corn or, you know, we use the keen trailers and with the blind down, I think you just keep moving it back as it goes back. You'd be coming from that way, wind in your face the whole time. That's how your bedding area they come right up, wind in your face. So good. Yeah. You can get in up on those tops and nothing on these hillsides even see you. I know, you could use the edge and just get all the way back in here. All that side is like a little bit bigger trees, a little bit bigger cover. And and the nice part is that there's no food out the back side. There's one from last year. Yeah. Yeah. Strong four genetics. Yeah. That deer did not get killed last year. Is this on that field on there? Uh, yep. Yeah, I mean, that's all you need to see is like a deer like that. Okay, yeah, they got bucks in here that are already decent. I mean, pretty good spot. Yeah. It, it, it's a little rough for the wind, but like as far as what it, it sits against, like this is wicked bedding. Neighbors are super thick. You got this terrain feature that comes up here that's a drainage ditch that pinches everything in this corner. I mean, you get a set tight box blind in here, you'd be fine. So this is where I was talking about like, getting back in here and then this stuff is like two or three years further along than yeah. the front side of it is. You can look at it two ways. This thing could be the whitetail mecca of this area or it could be an overgrown cattle pasture. It's even better than being a big timber piece because the timber takes dozers and a lot of work to get plots in it. This year it's pretty much, you can put them anywhere you want. So I think you just set it up where you have like your destination fields, I call them like my bigger corn and bean fields where everything is going to and coming to, going back and forth. So you can, you know, late season, you can hunt them up on top, yeah, you know, in those big access, fields. Yeah. And then like early season like this, where they're gonna be bedding down in the creek bottom and stuff, you know, catch them on with a couple kill plots like for archery. There's gonna be an unbelievable amount of deer pouring out of this thicket and staging here and going. 
The other thing that's cool is the neighboring crop field out there. It's really big destination food, but it all kind of rolls into this place. So like these deer can go out into there and not be seen from the roads or anything. But having that next door is awesome because we only got so many acres to work with on those tops, but because it borders that big ag, it'll make it. Every deer for, I bet you three, four miles around here is gonna be, he's gonna be in here. And, you know, once we get the big food plot up on top and the little ones down below, you know, there's already good deer in there, but it's gonna, it's gonna be, you're gonna see a huge difference in this farm, you know, by this fall. Gigantic scrapes right in front of the camera. Hopefully we got something good. Things are really tore up in there. Looks a lot different since the last time we were here. Uh, scrapes everywhere, rubs starting to pop up. Food plot looks awesome. All the food plots, there's actually uh, three different plots that equal about seven and a half acres. Oats, buckwheat, uh, turnips, radish, holding a lot of deer. As you can see, all that neighbor's standing corn is still up. And that's a huge field, so I think once that gets cut, might catch some deer traveling from those other woodlots and cruising during the rut. So I expect to see a whole new batch of deer probably show up here once the crops totally get cut because they are they're taking them out every day. So should be soon. If you're interested, it is available. Still enough time to buy it and hunt this year. Plots are in. Box blind is sitting here, ready to hang in a spot of your choice. Uh, this should be a slam dunk no-brainer for somebody.